really appreciate that you're here with us. For those of you signed on that don't know me, I'm Tracy Wilson with Torsi, Tours by Tracy, and I partner with the best in guided group travel to provide world-class value tours. So today we are going to talk about Mayflower Cruises and Tours, Tulip Time on Jewels of the Rhine, featuring the Tulips of Netherlands. We're gonna see Kukanoff Gardens and the array of flowers in the area. Then we'll move on to Germany, France, and Switzerland. And the tour date for this tour is April 13th through the 23rd, 2021. And the reason for the April date is of course the tulips, the peak time, the peak season to see those tulips. And as you all know, COVID is on all of our brains right now. We can't predict where things will be in April. I believe we'll know more after the new year when we know more about vaccines. But with that in mind, we are going to talk to you why your travel investment is secure for this tour date, for this tour. We'll talk about health and wellness measures, how travel is going to be cleaner and safer than it ever has been in the past. Uh, one thing that I do also want to mention, uh, want to mention my human error. I got caught up in the cut and paste. And when I sent out the announcement for this tour, I did so mentioning a free air offer through the end of November. Now, I this tour did have free air, but that did expire. And the air on this is $3.99 per person, which is still an exceptional rate, given that air rates are going to be 12, 1600 or more per person. So it's still a great rate. And that is for any gateway, including Evansville. Um, do want to mention too that there is availability on this tour. The Vista deck, which is the most popular deck, is limited. And we'll get into the details of the different decks and uh, the price ranges and what that entails. With all of that being said, I would like to introduce you to Amanda Coleman with Mayflower Cruises and Tours, and she's going to go through the itinerary and tell you about the ship and Mayflower Cruises and Tours. So Amanda, take it away. Perfect. All right. Thank you. So again, my name's Amanda, and very excited to tell you about this trip coming up in April. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to go over all the details to make you feel nice and comfortable with traveling soon. I know I am antsy and ready to go get out of my house. <laughs> so what I want to do first, I will pull up my presentation and share my screen with you guys. So if you'll give me one second, I will pull that up. Um, can everybody see a PowerPoint presentation? Almost. Loading. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. So keep in mind um, the chat feature and everything like that you can still use while I'm going over the presentation. Um, if I don't see the alert, then I'll definitely cover it at the very end for you. Um, but that way, you know, if you have any questions, I'll definitely make sure that I get to them. So I will make this bigger for you guys and we'll get started here. Okay, can everybody see, is it full screen now? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So my name is Amanda Coleman and I'm with Mayflower Cruises and Tours. Um, I've been with Mayflower for just a couple months, but I have worked in the travel industry for a little over eight years now. Um, this is one of my favorite trips to go over as I've personally done the Rhine River. I haven't done it during tulip time, um, but I have been on this cruise before and it is beautiful, beautiful. So a couple of things I want to go over, we'll go over the tour day to day. We're going to go into the cabin so you can see exactly where you'd be sleeping. And then of course, any little questions you might have. So we'll get all of those covered for you. Now, if you've never traveled with Mayflower, you might not know a lot about us. So Mayflower is a company based right outside of Chicago in Lyle, Illinois. Um, we've been around for a little over 40 years. Um, and then back in 2018, we were purchased by Scenic, the river cruise company. So they are the ones we own the ships. 
we take care of everything for you. And I think the service is phenomenal because of that. So when you're on a trip with us, you'll have deluxe transportation. So you'll also have some motor coach trips on this one a little bit. We move your bags for you. You'll have your trained tour manager that specializes in the destination. And all of the ship staff are absolutely phenomenal. Everyone speaks English and all the announcements on the ship are going to be in English too. Um, you'll also have the occasional step-on guide or local historian that'll be with you depending on the site that we're at. The dining experiences are amazing. So the food is made fresh on board. And while you cover different spots and countries, we will make sure that it is delicious the whole way through. You have local beer and wine included with your lunch and your dinner, and we'll make sure that you never go hungry. So there are always snacks and things to eat when you're on a river cruise. And then hotel accommodations. So they're four, four and a half star. Um, so this one, you only have the ship and then one hotel at the very end. So nice and smooth for you. So first things first, this trip is taking place next April, as Tracy said. So a great time to go so that you can see the thousands. I mean, it's millions of tulips that you will see in so many different colors. So if you take a peek at my map here, so you start in Amsterdam. Um, and that first day that you arrive, you do get on the ship. So if you want to do some sightseeing in Amsterdam, I highly recommend reaching out to Tracy and flying in a day early. So that is something that we can take care of for you. A lot of people haven't been to Amsterdam. Um, the museums are amazing. I went a couple of years ago with my husband. And while you're here, there's a beautiful Van Gogh Museum. There's also the Anne Frank House, um, which is very popular for people to want to go through. So if that's something you're thinking of, definitely reach out to Tracy because those museum tickets have to be bought weeks ahead of time. So highly recommend flying in a day early, getting that time in Amsterdam, and then getting on the ship. If you can't, that's okay too. So that first day, you're just going to fly in and get there. So you'll see we are on the ship for seven nights. And then at the end, you have two nights in beautiful Lucerne. So I don't think Lucerne is just, it's amazing. So I don't think you can beat it with anywhere else in the area. It's going to be one of your favorite spots if you've never been. So first things first, we got to get there. So once we get into Amsterdam, now from Evansville, when you're on central time, you'll have a seven hour time difference. So make sure you're staying awake, you're relaxed, and we want to make sure once you land that you have some free time to explore the ship. So of course, you will have dinner included that evening. Um, and this is what your ship will look like. So I'm going to go in since right away we're getting on the ship to the different cabins and the layouts for you. As you can see on the top of the ship there, that's one whole deck that you can hang out and relax on. And then inside there's different restaurants and lounges and then the room layouts. So the first room option that you have here is your stateroom D and stateroom E. So keep in mind with these categories, so the room is very spacious you'll see this window up top. So that does not open. I just wanna make sure everyone knows that the category D and E, the window does not open. Now this is the layout for the room. So you'll see that they are very spacious. So hopefully we'll move us a little bit. There we go. <laughs> so you do have that queen size bed, you've got bed tables, a little sitting area. So you do have quite a bit of room in this category too. Now, if we go to the next one, this is categories A, B, and C. So I stayed in a room in this category previously. So what I like about it is that you see this large window. So it does come down and open. So it'll open, you can get some nice fresh air in there. Um, so it's not a separate balcony, <clears throat> it's a separate area, you'll see the floors are different, 
but it is still inside the room, but the window comes all the way down. So halfway down there, you'll, you'll see. And then this is that layout too. So it's that floor to ceiling window. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful to be able to sit there and look out, but the window comes down to give you that nice fresh air too. Now next you'll have category S. So this is also a very popular category when it comes to rooms. Um, and that's because the balcony is an entirely separate outdoor space. So you can kind of see there's some glass doors there. That makes that an entirely different little area for you. So you can open and close that at your leisure. You can sit out there, have your cup of coffee in the morning, you know, read a book, whatever you'd like. So here you'll see those sliding glass doors and that balcony is a completely separate area. So that's gonna be category S. <clears throat> and then if you'd like, we have the last category here and that's category SA. So again, you have the separate balcony area, but this is the largest room that we have. Um, and that's because you also have a pretty large um, living area. So you have a lounge, basically a separate little living room, which is nice. So this would be the largest room, but all of them are extremely spacious and beautiful. So I think you'd be comfortable in any of them. It just depends on your preference when it comes to a window. Now you'll see here some shots from the ship, some beautiful food that you'll have a chance to taste. And remember it's local, it's made on, on board. Um, you'll have the local restaurant that you'll be eating your meals at. And remember they're included. So once you're on the ship, you have complimentary Wi-Fi. You, we have bikes available for you complimentary. You'll have bottles of water in your room complimentary. Your gratuities are also included. So you're not gonna have to worry about that once you get on the ship either. So that's all included in the pricing. So now you'll be able to enjoy the food here, the restaurant, you'll have multiple courses when it comes to your dinners. And all the staff speak English too, so you can feel comfortable with that also. Now in the evening, I love this. So we have a pool on the ship, but in the evening we cover it up. So this floor comes out and we actually put a movie up. So as you're cruising down the Rhine in the evening and relaxing, you can watch a movie and just enjoy a glass of wine and hang out. So feel free to take advantage of any of the activities or things we have for you. We have a bar on the ship so that if you want to hang out there, you can. There's typically some music or entertainment. Um, keep in mind with a river cruise, the ships are smaller. So this is not going to be your typical princess ship that has a casino and dance club and 10 different restaurants. You know, a river cruise ship is significantly smaller um, and that's so that they can go through Europe and go through the lock systems and the different bridges. So a large ship wouldn't be able to. So I think there's tons of things to keep you busy and let you relax um, and you won't have to worry about feeling bored at all. We also have a lounge area tons of couches and chairs. If you, you want to connect with family, if you want to just relax a little bit and sit out there, you certainly can, but it is nice and comfortable. But during the daytime, you'll have that pool. So keep in mind, it'll be a little chilly this time of the year. So maybe sometimes people like that. Um, they'll want to dress in layers on this trip. So the pool will be heated, but just in case, make sure you're bringing a jacket whenever you go around places. This is the sun deck. So this is that top deck I told you about. You can feel free to sit up here and take in the light. You can have a drink, you can have your cup of coffee, read a book, and you can see everything. So I loved hanging out on the sun deck because especially with the Rhine, you just see castles go by over and over. And it's just breathtaking to see these castles that come out of nowhere almost, it feels like. And you have all these wineries too. So enjoy your glass of wine and take a peek at everything. 
We'll also have the staff here. Sometimes we eat on the sun deck and have different themes for you. So you can enjoy that as you're cruising. But as we start the trip, we'll start in Amsterdam. So those are the details of the ship for you. So you can start to think about those. But the trip starts right here in Amsterdam, one of the oldest cities in all of Europe, one of my favorite cities. Of course, it's known for its canals and the houseboats that you can see right there. So again, if you want to fly in early, this is a great, great trip that you can do that on. So we'll make sure you get a little acquainted with the city so you have a little bit of free time before you have that dinner on board too. Now throughout Amsterdam, you'll see all the different buildings, how close they are together. One of the things I like to point out um, right here, if you can see on my mouse, there's something that sticks out from the houses. Can everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the neat thing about those, oops, no, oh, there we go. <laughs> the neat thing about those is that they're there because many years ago, to move into these homes because they're so tall and narrow, they would put ropes on there and they would use them as pulleys to pull furniture up to the higher windows. So all of the homes have those outside. So that is how they will move furniture up to the third or sometimes fourth floor on these homes. It's just fascinating. And you'll start to see all of these tulips as I go through the pictures too. So, Kuchenhof Gardens, of course, this is the first thing that we do the next day after you've had a nice night of relaxation. So we go right to the gardens and they are huge. It's fascinating. So here you are thinking you're going to see hundreds of flowers, thousands of flowers. No, they plant 7 million bulbs, 7 million tulip bulbs, and they are in so many different colors. So you'll have your reds, your pinks, your blues, I mean, tons of different things as you're walking through. You'll see lots of windmills throughout your trip too, as you have that Dutch countryside that we're going to be going through. I just absolutely love all the colors in Kuchenhof Gardens. I think it's something you'll take tons of pictures of, so make sure that you have cameras and everything charged. So it's a perfect camera spot for you but I just love all the colors, they're amazing. Now we see Kuchenhof Gardens, and then that evening we have our traditional gala and captain's dinner. You don't have to dress up for that. If you'd like to, you can, but we don't have any that require you to. So the next day, as we're cruising along, we'll arrive in Cologne, so in Germany. So you are covering four different countries on this trip, and you're only having to stay, you know, on the ship and in a hotel later. So very leisurely based. Cologne is famous for this Gothic church that you see here. So the two steeples especially um, are what make it really unique to Europe as a whole, not only just the area. So very Gothic style. And then you'll see as the homes go through and we do our walking tour, um, that it's just tons of little shops and restaurants and we'll go through that old town area, which feels very quaint. Now, as we're sightseeing also, everyone will be given a whisper headset that goes right around your neck. You have that earbud in your ear and you can hear the tour manager perfectly. So that way they can be 15, 20 feet away and you can hear the history and you don't have to be right next to them for everything, which I think makes it nice. And occasionally we'll have a local guide come through too, so they can take you to different monuments and sites. So there's a closer picture of this cathedral here. And again, that Gothic style really stands out and just how large it is. I mean, this is one of the largest cathedrals in Europe. So there's a close up there so you can see all of that detail. I was fascinated with it whenever I was there. So it's definitely something that you can look at a million times and constantly see a different statue or a different twist and turn. So it's a really unique spot. 
Now we'll get back on the ship because remember we're spending those seven nights and you have your meals included on there. <clears throat> now, if you don't wanna go back to the ship for your lunch, that's okay. I know it's included, but sometimes people wanna stay and enjoy a local pub or something like that. You can definitely do that. So we'll let you know when you need to be back on the ship that you can feel free to stay out and you know hang out in the main areas of each city too. So this has us going next to Koblenz. So Koblenz is one of the older cities. It's about 2000 years old. So as you're going through here, Koblenz has a lot of interesting things to do, a good mix of architecture. And as you can see in the bottom of the picture too, they have those trams that go across the water. I don't know if a tram is the right word I'm thinking, but you can see those that people can get on and then just go right across the city that way. So in Koblenz, they're well known for the fortress here. So you can see the walls that are built up all the way around it. Um, and this was during World War II. So you'll be able to go and see that also nice and up close. Now, while we're touring and doing things, make sure you're wearing good, comfortable walking shoes. So that way, as you're sightseeing, you can do things and not have to worry about getting some sore feet. <laughs> now, after that, we will cruise on. So we get to Kulkum. So this is another one of my favorite spots too. So you'll see tons of green and it's just a beautiful area to be able to go through. So while here, you can relax a little bit. We'll have some wine, of course, as you go throughout the trip and just get to know your fellow travelers too. So the trip will have about 120 to 140 people. Um, and right now, I believe we have four or five from the Evansville area going on this departure date too. So it'll be fun to have a nice little local group too. So this is Wrightsburg Castle. So this is one right here in town that if you'd like, you can go to. Wrightsburg Castle is very unique. You'll see all those different steeples that it has there. Um, and it's at one of the highest points that they have when it comes to the city also. So that's something that they strive to do so that way they had the walls around them for protection too. Inside, it's extremely detailed. So you will go inside for a tour. And this is one where you can take pictures, so feel free. You'll have um, whisper headsets and some audios, so that way you can listen to different things in each room and kind of know what the pieces and everything are from or for. And then this is Heidelberg. So Heidelberg, Germany is known for, it's a little bit downstream as we're still going, but it's located near the Rhine and an area that intersects called the Neckar. So this is a neat spot. It's very well known for this bridge that goes across. Of course, the castle that you see up there. I don't think you can miss it. It's a very medieval town too. So you can choose if you want to go up to the top, to go to Heidelberg Castle. It's a nice hike if you want to, or we'll do a walking tour um, in town if maybe you wanna stay a little bit closer. So you can be as active as you want on the trip, which I think is really nice too. So you have those bikes if you want, you can hike to different spots, there's plenty of time, or you can relax and take your time too. So this would be one of the hikes that you could do. So this is one of the views that you would get. Or of course, you can choose to go the opposite way and do a wine tasting. So when you mm. see Emerald, <laughs> when you see Emerald Active, that's gonna be included. So that's something that you can choose to do if you want. If you see Emerald Plus, that is something that we've specially arranged and that's something at an additional cost. Um, I would highly recommend the wine tasting. I've done this one um, and they will ship wine home for you, which I think is a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed that. So I think it's something that you can all check out too. So I would highly recommend the wine here. They're really known in this area for their whites and their sparkling. So keep that in mind because we're by the Moselle also. 
So a lot of that's going to be those really good white wines and those sparkling ones. Now we also get to Strasbourg. So you are covering, let's see, we were in Amsterdam, we were all through Germany, and now we're touching into France. So Strasbourg is beautiful and it really reminds me as you walk around and see the buildings, it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast in that town that she lived in, she was walking through, you know, very quaint, tons of flowers, and it's just so unique to the region. So it's definitely a place that you can relax and see a little bit of everything at. So it has a beautiful city center. Um, it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So they do a lot to take care of the town and keep the look the way that it is. So it's something that I think you'd really like. These timber framed buildings are just amazing. So check that out, the canals, the river locks, all those things too, because you will go through a couple different lock systems as you're on the trip. So you can go through, and here's the main square, one of my favorite spots to sit and people watch, because I love doing that when I'm on vacation. <laughs> um, it also has a nice thing where you can choose to do a guided tour, which is included for you. Um, or you can do a separate tour here. So um, that would be a little bit more, um, more in depth of a specific spot. I think I have a picture of it for you. But right here along the water, you'll see what some of the typical buildings look like. I don't have that picture, I thought I did. Um, it's a tour of, I think it's a certain part of the city. I'll double check, but that is one that would be additional for you. But Strasbourg, I think you can enjoy just walking around and enjoying a little bit yourself. And knowing that the ship is right there just makes it so convenient for you. You know, you can come and go. You can get on the ship a little early if you want or stay in the city a little longer if you want to skip lunch. So lots of things for you, too. Now we're going to touch back into Germany as we're going through. So lots of flowing around, if you remember how that map so definitely a different look than what cute little Strasbourg just had. So keep that in mind here. But this is a time where we go to the Black Forest region. So the Black Forest area is known especially for um, not only this town, but they're known for their cuckoo clocks. So if that's something you'd like to bring back, um, definitely feel free to do that. I brought my cuckoo clock back from uh, the Black Forest. And it's one of my favorite things that I've ever gotten. So they come in tons of different sizes and shapes. Um, you can choose during this day too to be active and go through the Black Forest on a hike. Um, so that's something sometimes people like to do. Or you can do, which you know is usually my my thing here. You can go bake a traditional Black Forest cake and do a tasting. So it's a demonstration and you get to participate a little bit. So this is an emerald plus. Um, so it would be at an additional cost for you. But anything that has to do with food and wine, I always want to try it. So hiking, maybe not so much for me, but I think it's, it's something you want to do, you definitely can. So keep that in mind. This is the area famous for their Black Forest cake, of course. You'll see that throughout the menu as you're touring also, um, but that especially those cuckoo clocks. So they, can, they will wrap up the cuckoo clocks. They'll be in styrofoam. You'll be able to get it home safe and sound, I promise. Um, my only recommendation for you when it comes to that, um, I was nervous that if they shipped it, it would break, but it won't. So I actually brought mine on the plane with me and it was more of a hassle than anything because every time I went through security because of the styrofoam, they would unwrap it and open every piece back up. So luckily nothing broke, but if I had to do it again, I would have just shipped it. So because a lot of times they just ship it for free for you. So keep that in mind. It'll be just fine. Now, this is when we get to Lucerne. So we are towards the end of our trip here, end of our cruising time. We had those seven nights. 
Lucerne is an amazing city, of course, famous for this bridge that you'll see here. Um, it's a covered bridge. You'll see swans and different ducks in the water. It's amazing. So we do get off of the ship and then we come to Lucerne by motor coach and get to our hotel here. So tons of different things you can do when it comes to Lucerne. So lots of walking. Um, of course, as we do our sightseeing, you'll see some famous monuments that they have. Um, this one, of course, dedicated to the war from many years ago. Um, but it has a beautiful Alpine experience for you. If you'd like to go to Mount Pilatus, you certainly can. Um, this is that bridge that I was showing you. So it's a closer view so you can see that. And you can just take your time and take in the city each day. So tons of different things. You don't have to feel rushed when you're on a river cruise, which I love too. You're gonna have mountains everywhere you look when you get to Lucerne. It's a very picturesque place. Now that excursion to Mount Pilatus. So if you have never been, I think this is a must do. So this is an additional cost for you. Um, but of course it includes that transportation and being able to get up there and have those views that are definitely once in a lifetime. So this is something, if you've never done it, please, please do. I do not think you will regret it at all. So once you get to the top, this is where you are. So you'll have some breathtaking views as you look around, tons of different things. You'll have, of course, there's an area for snacks or coffee and a bathroom break. So it's not as though we're just getting dumped on top of a mountain. So don't worry about that. Um, there's tons of different things up there. It's very unique. And then after that, that is your trip. You will start to make your way back to beautiful Evansville, Indiana. Are there any questions for me? Anyone wanna unmute or you can type in the chat too? Before I go over some small details. No, we have a quiet group. All right. So I'll show you a couple of the bookend things for you too. So now what we have is the breakdown of the pricing for you. So let me, we'll move us over here. So these are the per person rates. And keep in mind, we went over the different categories, but Tracy also has a breakdown that she can send you. So this is gonna be the trip the meals, all your gratuities while you're on the ship. So you don't have to worry about paying for those. Um, this has your wine and beer included at lunch, your soft drinks, um, you know, that complimentary Wi-Fi, the port fees, everything. So you have this one price. Um, and then the airfare is currently at $3.99 per person out of any gateway, including Evansville which I think is phenomenal. So being able to fly out of our nice local airport with just a couple of gates to choose from makes it nice and comfortable for you. Sign up on the trip. You just reach out to Tracy. The deposit is $400 per person. And then if you'd like to do the travel protection plan, which I'll go over soon, and um, that's $450 per person also. So you would do those at the same time. We're gonna move us again. So, <laughs> um, the travel protection. So I know with COVID, there's lots of questions about what does travel protection include? What can it help me with during these times? Things like that. So our travel protection plan. So you can cancel on a river cruise for a typical covered reason, illness, death, um, maybe to a you or a family member, something like that. Um, lost or stolen baggage, but it also gives you medical coverage while on tour. So if you cancel, you would get all your money back minus the cost of the insurance. So you get, you know, your $4,400 back um, except the insurance. Now we did just upgrade our travel protection 
Um, and this is something that I'm very happy about. Um, so with this travel protection, you don't pay anything extra. It's the same price for everyone. This is also if you were to get COVID while on the trip. So let's say the end of the trip is here and you got COVID. Um, you need to be in a hotel and quarantined. So we will give you up to $200, $250 a day for your hotel and meals. Um, so that way you can quarantine. You are reimbursed for anything on the tour that you may have missed. And we also redo your airfare to get you back home. So you do not have to pay for those things out of pocket. So we have that added COVID protection, um, just as a little peace of mind for people. You know, we can't predict where the world is going to be in a year, in six months, anything. Um, but people are ready to get out and do it safely. And we're definitely making sure our ships are clean. You know, and that's what I love about this trip is that you're not having to move a lot from hotel to hotel. You have that security of your one room for the main time and then hopping into one hotel after that. So you have that upgraded protection there for you, just as that peace of mind in case you were to feel ill or the person you're traveling with too, you would be able to stay with them. Does that make sense? Are there any questions on that? No? I can let Now, any questions at all for me or Tracy? Mm -mm. Anything else you want me to go a little bit more in depth on? I want to make sure everybody has all the answers to their questions. This is one of my favorite trips that I've been on. I love the Rhine and all the castles. And I know there's been a lot of information today. I will be sending everybody an email with details, with the brochure that you can look at the cabin categories and the pricing and look at it at your own leisure in your own time. And then I will be sending you a recording of this show so you can go back through or you can share with friends and family. You can also go to my website, torcy20.com, T-O-U-R-C-Y 20.com and information is there. Just know that uh, everything you've heard today, I, I will get that information to you so you can look through it at your leisure. My best advice, if this is the tour for you, and especially those uh, middle cabin levels, if that's where it resonates with you, the sooner you make your reservation, the better. Those cabin categories do go the fastest and they have the most limited space at this time. So again, I wanna thank you. Uh, I, I uh, as well have done this tour, not at tulip time, but at Christmas time. And the pictures that you're seeing are, are from tours. They are legitimate and that's exactly how they look. And it's just amazing uh, looking at this and getting the goosebumps that, that uh, knowing that this is out there for everybody. So I'm anticipating this tour for you and please feel free to contact me if you have any further questions. And in the meantime, I will get all the details to you. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon and hope you can stay warm and start dreaming about your vacations and seeing some beautiful flowers in person. So if you need anything at all, just reach out to Tracy and we'll get everything to you. So Definitely enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. Appreciate it. No problem. Goodbye. Have everybody. a good day.